Hi everyone, this is a quick video on explaining how the projector optics engine works and uh, how to identify any faults that you might have and what all the glasses inside and you know all the bits and pieces do. So it's uh, it's a very rare information because it's really hard to find exactly what's happening. You can see the basic uh, you know where the light goes red green blue and that's about it but you can't find any info on the actual module with a prism. So you, you can't, you know, you don't know which piece is which and what they do and why there's so many of them. You might have heard of a polarizer and that it could be a bad polarizer in your projector, but once you open it up you find there's at least four pieces of glass there and you're going, well, which one is it? So we're going to go over the circuit and I'm going to show you actual engine inside. So what happens is we've got a bulb first, the HMI bulb or whatever the type there is. After the bulb, uh, the, there is a lens which is included in the bulb. Here it is. I'll just show you. So we've got the bulb itself sitting on the back Then there's a spacing here with nothing in and then there's a lens right here. So that's part of the bulb assembly so after that which is up to Here the light goes straight to a piece of glass which looks like a multi-lens. I'll show you all of it uh, later on. So it's, it's actually a square piece of glass and it's got multiple small tiny lenses in it and it's a smaller size. After that some projectors might have iris. In, my ca in our case we do have iris, some don't. Uh, so if yours might not have iris that's alright. So light then goes next to a bigger piece of glass with the lenses. So there's a lot of little tiny lenses. They kind of uh, align the light so light looks... they create multiple points of light from one light source. So uh, once that, then some projectors might have a cinema filter that, that slides in automatically if you're in cinema mode and slides out. That doesn't really do anything to optics, just adds like a, acts like a filter. The next is a lining glass, which is usually has a metal plate here with just a few cutouts for the light to come and they're vertical. And inside we have little prisms that are glued together and they align the light. So once the white light is aligned, it goes through a lens and then it shines into the, uh, the engine. In the engine, the first mirror it hits, the orange light, I just didn't know how else, the orange is actually white light, it's not orange, but I didn't have any white text. So anyway, uh, it's got diacrylic mirror inside. What, what it does, once the light hits it, it reflects all the blue light off it, but passes the yellow light. So obviously yellow light contains red and green. So light uh, separates here, the blue goes that way, the, the yellow goes here. It hits the second diacrylic mirror, which separates it to green and red. Then the, uh, the light continues on as red, goes through another lens, because there's a bit of a distance here now. As you notice, there is no lenses here, but there is a lens here. Uh, so once it goes through that lens, it's just a normal glass lens, it hits the normal mirror to get it a 90 degree angle. So after the 90 degree angle, it goes through another adjustable lens, I will explain in a second, and into the en engine. So what we end up with, with the three colors shining blue, red, and green. So the uh, blue light, once it goes off the mirror, it goes uh, off that diacrylic mirror, it goes to a normal mirror, and into the lens, diacrylic lens. So it's not a normal, oh no, hang on, that's a normal lens, yeah, that's a normal glass lens. That mirror is adjustable, usually they glued in place, so what happens is the light is actually, um, let's say this is the beam of light, that really is beam of light, so it shines, but if you adjust the mirror you will notice it starts moving that way or that way or up or down, so this will help you because the light is already a square, it helps you align it so it shines directly in a, in a, into the um, LCD module itself. So if say this is your um, LCD module, and this is your light, it will actually align and to see like, you know, if you're shining the light up, down, right, left, you know, so that mirror helps you align it perfectly. To, so it shines in. So then uh, the green one doesn't have that because the green is direct light. The mirror is already aligned so it's straight through. The blue uh, in the red one, it's got that lens. So the mirror, this mirror is static. But this lens is a glass lens, that's the lens that you can move up, down, uh, right and left, again to align where the light shines to make sure it's not shining off the angle, so it shines directly in. So if you have problem with, you know, like, uh, say, 
one quarter of your screen is missing a color or something like that, the chances are that mirror or that mirror is out of alignment. So you need to align it. Uh, you can do it by simply shining the light into the engine, make sure it's straight. And you will see where the light shines and you'll see that sometimes light will shine off center and you can just use that mirror to adjust it so it shines directly in. So that's it um, for the actual red, green, blue part of it. Uh, now we're going to the actual middle part, which is the engine, at the, it's not the engine, it's the yoke of the engine, which has the LCDs in the prism. So we've got two polarizers uh, in per color. So let's just look at the basic green color, because red polarizers and red usually this never has problems. It's green and blue that has problems. So say if you have a normal picture, but every if you have a text and text got purple glow around it, or it's got green glow around it, but it's nowhere else on the screen, the chances are it's your polarizer and that's the out polarizer. So let's now look at the green for example. They're all the same, so we got uh, first is called the polarizer that is usually adjustable. They usually sit like that on the on a thing and they have a slight orange, you can't really see it here, but they have slight orangey tint to it or you know they're not, they're kind of odd color yellowy or reddish tint. They just, yeah, they, they just got tint to them. So that's called input polarizer. And that's the one that is usually adjustable. It's held by a screw and usually you can loosen the screw and you can move it right, left, you know, to, to get the angle right. So what that does is um, it helps you to correct the black level. So notice if you actually take one of the polarizers out, you will have just green light or if you take this one out or this one, you'll have just blue. The whole screen will be blue with, you know, the rest of the colors. So that helps to adjust the black level. So the more you tilt it, it'll get, you know, if you're tilting the green, your black color will be starting to get a bit more greener or you tilt it the other way, it'll get more blacker and darker. Then after the input polarizer, they usually never go bad. Uh, then you got the green LCD itself. So once the light goes through LCD and gets your image, you got two pieces of glass there. They are coated just on your, like on your camera lens. They coat it with a, this metallic coat that stops the glare and reflections. And the other piece of glass is actually a UV filter, so there is no UV going through. And then we have the out polarizer. That's the out polarizers are usually the ones that die. They'll burn out. After the out polarizer, uh, the light goes into the prism. So prism's got dichroic properties as well, and what it does is um, the green light goes straight through and straight to your lens block. The blue light, if we look at the prism, as you can see, it's crossed. If you uh, look at it this way, then you can see that the blue light reflects of that uh, dichroic mirror and shines out of the lens. And the same for the red, if we look at it that way, then you can see the reds coming in and reflecting out into the lens. And that mixes all your three colors, red, green, and blue. Output polarizers, they're usually static, they're not, not adjustable. You just fit them in, I'll show you uh, all that on the engine. And uh, they are there statically. Uh, this one is the one that adjusts, so those are two, that's a matching polarizers. You can get, for example, if you've got a green one or blue one dead, you can get this one uh, try from another projector most of the times. They will fit, but you cannot mix them around. So, for example, if your green, uh, blue polarizer is dead, you can't get the red polarizer from another projector and put it in instead of blue. It just won't work. So it has to be from blue part of the another projector, and most of the times that work, I've done that before. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, those two, they don't play any role in your color. So the main part of your color is just think of it that way, just like your normal LCD, you know, the old school LCD, the black and white ones, like on your, you know, some sort of a timer on the fridge or something. Uh, it has the LCD screen and it has two polarizers. It's good to get the, if you peel one of them off, you know, the screen disappears suddenly. So same thing here. You've got sandwich is just same principle. You've got the LCD sandwiched in between two polarizers that make you, you know, make it visible. So now let's have a look at the engine itself. So light comes in. I'll have to pull that out. And the first thing the light goes through is through that lens with a multi, uh, glass with a multi lens. And it looks like that. So as you can see, it's just multiple lenses. So they take single beam of light and spread it around. After that, in some cases, like in mine, we have a shutter. So that just, uh, just 
opens and closes depending on you know intensity of the light it's not really a shutter it's the iris that's what it is then we have another lens that is unfortunately glued in i don't want to unglue it because i am fixing that projector but it's exactly the same as the first lens it's just larger so after that lens which is this one here we got the cinema filter again not all projectors have cinema filter this one does and it's literally just a piece of glass that purple piece of glass that makes everything look like a cinema cinematic look to it after that uh, cinema filter we've got the uh, mirrors uh, the the prisms that are glued together with aluminium plate so it's this part here and that looks like that so on one side as you can see it's uh, just a metal plate but on the other side it's got all those prisms glued together so that's a lines the light uh, then we've got a lens so I'll have to open that up now now we've got a just a normal glass lens which is sitting right here you can see it's just magnifying what's behind it which is that glass lens here so and the light now enters the separation part separator part of the engine so actually let me remove that first so it's easier so we've got here diacrylic mirrors as you can see they just pass one uh, frequency of light so some pass blue some pass you know orange and so on just like on this picture here so we've got white light coming in, reflects as blue into that mirror that can be adjusted. So you can see it right here, but it's glued in place. And that mirror reflects it into normal lens into the yolk. So then we've got continuing yellow light that reflects off that diacrylic mirror as green and goes through another diacrylic lens, which is right here, as you can see and goes into the engine, into the yoke. Then the light continues on through normal lens, another normal mirror, which is here. And then we've got another little lens here, just like I've explained, which is that lens here, which is adjustable, which allow allows you to um, adjust right, left, up, down, where the light is hitting the LCD. Another mirror that reflecting that uh, red light and another diacolic lens here for the red light. And then now we have the output of uh, blue, green, and red from three different angles. And that all goes into the yoke. So let's have a look at the yoke now. Here is the yoke itself with the LCD panels. Actually, sorry, I missed the part because that's on the lead. We've got the polarizers, which is those input polarizers for three colors. So for red, uh, for green, for blue, for green, for red. And they are sitting on, uh, usually on the top of the cover and you can adjust them so you can unscrew, loosen the screw and you can tilt them and, you know, to get the, the black level right. So they usually have this, see if I can get that color. It's purplish, reddish, orange kind of, yeah. So this is the color they usually are. Uh, and you can't swap them around. They are dedicated and they're paired. Um, with another polarizers with the output polarizers so light goes through them and then it hits the lcd panels which are those little things and i'm going to remove one and show you because this one is bad and i'll have to replace it anyway so after that we got those two pieces of glass so let's uh, remove the first one they are just uv filter and the um, anti-glare filter so those one can be loosened their position is not critical so that's a UV filter. It's literally, you can't even see it, it's, it's, yeah, there we go. It's just a piece of glass. The next one we have is the, again, can't see it, but that's anti-glare. And then we have another one, which I have removed because it was dead. Yeah, that's the green uh, polarizer. So that completes the second part. So if we have a look at it, we have two of them. Uh, let me just get it on the white. Oh, it's really hard to get it, but they are, as you can see, as I'm turning them, they're changing. They are matching, but this one's got problem in uh, in the polarizer itself. I'll see if I can show you in the reflection. You can see it's it's burnt out, and that's causing a green glow. 
So if you're looking at the polarizer, the, that's the output polarizer. Uh, so it goes, uh, it's this one here on the drawing. If you take it out, and it's usually gl glued inside almost before the, uh, the, uh, the prism itself. And you can, without removing anything, you can just slightly take a Stanley knife. And it's usually glued with four points like that. As you can see, four dots with the silicon, and you can just cut them uh, carefully and remove that polarizer if you think it's green. Like, like I said, in my case, for example, if that says green LCD on the projector, it'll have green glow around it, just slide, and it's annoying. And if you can look at the polarizer, you can see that it's the image is a bit distorted. Actually, you can see, look at the reflection of the light right here. And you can see on that paper that it's not nice, clean reflection. If we take, however, another polarizer, I think this one's dead as well, but um, this one's blue, it is better. You can see that the, the light's coming through. It's just the edges that are a bit funny, but this one, you can see that it's the, the shadow of it. It's, yeah, it's, it's screwed. So you can carefully remove it and get a new polarizer and put it in there. It sits on two little uh, corners so you when you when you look inside that's the thing that's holding it the actual thing there's a window for that polarizer and you'll hear, see a little notch on the bottom of it and on one side so the polarizer just sits on those notches and then you there is no top or left notches just sits in those two and you can push the push it right in the center there and a couple of drops of you know um, temperature adhesive or silicon non-acidic silicon and let it set and it'll work just fine and then after the this polarizes the light goes into the prism itself and like i've mentioned before you can see you can just let me just see that you can see where it splits in four and that's how it refl reflects the lights. So this part would be reflecting light this way and out, or well actually out that way, so this way out and this way out and the green goes straight through. And uh, yeah, that's the, the prism. So in fact, you can see, well, let me just get that light. You can see the other LCDs are reflecting in there. there. So that's how the projector works inside and that's how all the optics work just in case because it's very confusing seeing so many, you know, polarizers and filters and you look at them all and you go like, oh, what's going on? Which one do I replace? But now you know. And again, most of all, it's the output polarizer that goes bad, not the input one. So don't worry about the middle of it or the LCD unless it's, yeah, screwed. The output or input polarizers, check them, but the chances are it's the output. So if you're looking at the input polarizer, which is those ones, and they are good and clear, and you can look right through them, and picture seems really fine, then it's definitely output. Remove it, and again, have a look. If you're looking at it just quickly, you might not notice it, but again, like if you're looking at the shadow of it, you can clearly see there. Look at the shadow look how bad like you can see that spot in the center and it's yeah it's degraded but the good polarizer would have just clear picture just like um just like this one look at the shadow of this one Hang on. and you can see it's just normal clear shadow that's how the internal engine of optical engine of the projector works Thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it helped you fix your uh, problems with your optical engine Thanks for watching. My name is Max. Bye.